The Oregon Dunes are the largest expanse of coastal sand dunes in North America. Recreational activities are vast and today I discovered sandboarding. Similar to snowboarding, this sport was introduced to the world by Lon Beal, who owns Sandmaster Park in Florence, Oregon, who also manufactures the sandboards. I went out with some of the top sandboarders who compete in competitions around the world. Our first stop was just behind the board shop at Sandmaster Park. We're at Sandmaster Park on uh, this beautiful Saturday. Uh, we're getting ready to go over to Honeyman State Park now and do some more uh, sandboarding. Back when sandboarding was coming around, uh, you know, people were using all sorts of different boards to uh, try to slide down the sand dunes. And uh, one guy, his name's Juan Beal, or Dr. Dune, he uh, created the first sandboard, and uh, it's been the best on the market ever since. Um, it's come now, you know, through the days, and he just keeps improving every year. We are at Honeyman State Park at the moment, uh, just on the front side. Nice, great big dune. It's probably about, what, about 200 feet, guys? 250 feet, and uh, we're getting some good runs out here. Some good sand today. Many riders through the years have gone all over the world. Um, I've been to Mexico, Egypt, Colorado, you know, all through Oregon and California just to sandboard. So we've got people in Peru that we compete with, Chile and Brazil, that they all come around to different competitions throughout the year. And, uh, sandboarding is different from snow in the fact that the sand handles a lot like water. So it ends up being uh, a lot more similar to uh, wakeboarding or surfing in the fact that you don't really use edges to carve and you're not leaning forward like you do on snow. Um, you, you know, everything's on the back and it's more of you're working the back end of the board around, pushing it around to uh, maneuver the board. Mm -hmm. 